can get me there it, it flooded over there so that's probably why it was running like crazy the last couple of like the last two weeks I think the last week and a half maybe finally got some beautiful sunny weather car super happy we're gonna get the mods in I'm gonna just pull up to the place and I'll pick it up there because I need to figure out how to get there now through this road so we're already at the spot. I've already started. I've already begun, as you guys can see. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to forgive me. I'm just dealing with a bunch of stuff right now. So right off the bat, I pulled off the the light right there. You guys can see it the dangling, so that this can hopefully drain out the water because it hasn't been working, like my actual headlight bulb. Um, took off my intake filters so that they can dry off because yesterday I drove in the in like basically a storm to be honest, and I'm just letting them dry off, man. Because apparently these filter covers do not do that much. But they were drenched though, so they might have. I guess they did help a little bit. Other than that, the car's fine. I'm um, actually. Let me just go ahead and show you what I'm gonna be doing today. So if you guys, let me just show you. I don't know where to go. But anyways, I'm gonna be doing a true coilover conversion in the rear. And this is all from BC Racing. Ordered it from them. Came in the mail super quick. I've actually had these for a while. Never just never did the job. It's one of those things that you know you're lazy. Basically, it's just a spring. Let me break this down for you. This is a spring. Uh, this adapter, what's well, like uh, to thread it in. It's basically to hold the shock like that. And then it's just to adjust them and whatnot. And then this is a bottom collar to tighten it up against it. But I ordered like the actual like plastic that goes in there. It's like this. Looks like that. But these already come with it, so I don't think I'm going to need them. So in my description, I'll probably just link this, this, and the actual spring. That you, Because I, I, you know, it already comes with this, so I don't really need it. It's just literally protecting for the spring so we're gonna go ahead and do that and if you guys don't know what i mean by that let me go ahead and show you right here i already got a head start i gotta know what i'm doing before i tell you what to do right it's muddy everywhere but we make it happen right so back here um that's the bolt for the actual that's the nut for the actual bolt right here and we're gonna take this off and put it right there but this stock one or not stock one but this like the one that came with the coil plus is gonna get taken off because we don't need it or we're just gonna be using this one and the coil is gonna go in here that's the plan. Oh, also, since we're gonna be deleting this, I'm gonna be looking for some tow arms to go right here. Since I don't need the bucket no more, I could just get the adjustable tow arm because this doesn't really have a lot of adjustment that are that it allows it to make OEM style. So a lot of things coming. But basically, I'm gonna take this off. It's really easy to do this job. You basically just take off this thing, drop the shock, like all this. You literally just dump this out. So it's one bolt, but I'm gonna get another jack put it underneath it because it's gonna be on a lot of load right now. When I take it off, so I don't want it to hit somebody in the or me in the face or you, right? So we're gonna put the jack underneath it, take it off. This one just has a bolt on the bottom, the two 12s on top, and then we can start beginning the actual work to do the job. I'm going well today, guys. So I'm gonna just do all this, take it off, and then I'm gonna show you on the bench what it exactly is I'm doing. Welcome. Today, you already know what's going on, so I'm just gonna jump straight into it right here 14 millimeter top of the the way you adjust it boys like you know for hard or stiff just crack that thing open not a big deal just unscrew it not a big deal put it to the side you're gonna need it later all right on the top we got a 17 millimeter get out your handy dandy five millimeter right here oh first put in your 17 of course and then put in your five millimeter and then you're just gonna take it off man this might take a while since I gotta hold it right here. So I just spun the Allen key. If you guys have an Allen socket that's five millimeter, it might go even faster, but I'm just telling you guys what I used. There's 19 right there. Then I'm gonna put them all in order right here, how they go. Then you got, let me just take off the whole thing. See if I can take it off all at once. 
you got this padding right there and you got this thing right here the top hat so i'm gonna need to take off this thing right here i don't know what it is but it's a tight fit there we go and we got the dust cover off and we got your thing right here first my bad my bad guys is a smaller one like this so you just put this thing in there and twist it on might haven't been twisted in a while so there's a bunch of dirt in there so it might just be a little bit difficult but should just go right on as soon as you put it on guys then we get this one with the black part facing up because that's where the spring goes drop that in there tighten that sucker down i don't actually know how this is going to change the characteristics of the car i'm actually kind of excited to find out though uh maybe it's a big difference maybe it's like not a difference at all you know i'm just curious to know and find out for myself because you can look it up yourself you can do all this research yourself but at the end of the day you're not going to know how it strategically changes your specific set of quality for your car but you can watch my videos all you want though you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button while you guys are already there man like the video i appreciate you guys though and so we're gonna put this back on no dust boot the same order that we had things man does it even go this way or does it go flipped am i doing this wrong oh yeah i was wrong it goes flipped so like the indentation of this little ring goes facing down so the flat part's on top and then you put your spring back on i put the numbers facing up so that you could read them where are they at yeah facing up so you can read them six two two zero zero five zero zero dot i just put them on there like that nothing crazy then we're going to put on the top is the top hat make sure to know your orientation Take that into consideration and we gonna slap that on top. And then this little ring right here, the rubber part goes facing towards the bottom. And the flat part's on top and bada bing bada boom. Put your nut back on right there, look. Smooth sailing from there, man. So that's on there good, but as you guys can see, the spring is a little bit loose, right? Okay, that's normal, not a big deal. Let me try to hold this so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna bring this bottom collar down a little bit more. Just so I can get room to get into this top collar. And the top collar, I'm gonna let me just spin it up, like going up. You wanna go on top. And what I've read and what I've seen is you wanna twist it up a good amount. With just your hands, no tools. Just your hands a cool amount. Cause you're setting the preload in the spring. You're setting it, you know, you're setting it yourself. Well that to me seems pretty tight. So then you're gonna lock this up. This bottom one, you're gonna lock it up with your hand. You're not gonna use a tool yet. I don't have one regardless, but I'm gonna show you guys what to use if you guys don't. And you're gonna tighten this up. Like so, tightened up against it. Now, the way you set your preload on these things is you wanna get a spanner wrench. Where's it at? You guys just heard me say I don't have a spanner wrench. I was literally looking for it. But, anyways, they want two millimeter spacing between this ring and this ring once you have it tightened up to hand length. So, to get two millimeters out, I'm gonna use simple hand tools that you guys can get at your local auto parts store. So this is an oil filter to remove it. And I'm just gonna spin this thing until I'm happy with the spacing. All right, it's gotten pretty tight now. It's about two millimeters of spacing. Now you're gonna do, tighten the sucker up on top and we're done. That's it, we can throw it on the car. Now you're gonna, all you're gonna do is take this. You guys can see that, stick it on top. Tighten the sucker down, it's a 14 millimeter. Just tighten it down. We're done, man, look at that. Let's go put it on the car. You want to release some of the stress on this bolt from the spring so that you can take it off a lot easier, man. If anybody wants these, shoot me a DM, man. I'll let them go for stupid cheap. I don't need them. They were going to go in the trash anyway, so if you guys want them, DM me, man. Complete kit right there. Look, there you go. Since we're done with that, we could just put our bolt back. Take it to the table and get it ready for the coil. So we already did this before. We already know what we're doing, man.
there we go guys let me close this up put all my tools back yeah i'm always ready I'm strapped anyways didn't really change the right height too much i literally lowered it an inch in the back and it literally looks the same look at this aggressive stance bro this thing is aggressively low bro like we have a successful one finger gap in the rear in the front if you guys remember the last video that i did to raise this car i raised it about two inches in the front or one and a half this one barely has two but it's dented right there Let's see how much the other one has yeah solid one finger gap in both front and rear this is officially the lowest the car's ever been it used to be lower when it was seen on the tint but we're not gonna go back to that anymore so we're all done for today super excited uh, as you guys can see my trunk's full so i'm not gonna be able to do the toast today but i did do a video before on before i swapped that now i'm gonna do a video again um seeing if it if it changes it at all i'm gonna do a little bit of driving normal casual driving to see if it feels like any different at all but uh the abusive or spirited driving will have to come in a later video crazy bro that was crazy let me try to flip it that was more of a spirited drive than i wanted to do but i i feel like it was a very good run the car doesn't feel the car doesn't feel that much different like it doesn't feel stiffer like i'm not gonna lie to you and tell you it does but it because it doesn't the only thing that i feel like it did change is how how it goes into a corner i feel like i can dive a lot more into a corner now I feel like it'll just take it, you know? That's the only thing, not really crazy. Not really anything different. Everybody gets them because it's like the traditional coilover. But uh, I don't know, I expected more of a difference, but that's the only difference I felt. And that's like me like aggressively going into a turn. These are wide turns. I'm, just, I'm sure like on tighter corners, it'll be a little bit more noticeable, but that's the only difference I felt. I felt like I owed it to you guys to do that. Of course, we'll get some togs in pretty soon, but uh those roads is the first time i ever went that direction so that, that was those were new to me and those seemed really cool if they weren't um if it didn't like stop i'm sure i would have just kept going had a had a blast to be honest so there's that guys i hope you guys enjoyed it my dad's currently working on his dad son over there replacing the water pump i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoyed the edits i hope you guys are happy i hope you guys are enjoying life living life doing what you love most man that's what we should be doing on this earth with the time that we're given i did have something i wanted to say so um to go with that before we end today's video i did have something i wanted to say something i wanted to share um and it's like um it's about like exterior forces exterior like stuff that affects us internally so like let me give you an example so like when it was raining i don't know i'm not a big fan of the rain never really have um i like playing soccer in the rain but that's about it but um typically like when the, when it rains like that much like i still try to be productive I don't try to let it uh, affect my day, affect my mood. Because weather should not really affect the mood. Of course, I'm really happy when the sun's out. I love the sun so much. I'm just here soaking it in, you know. But um, when it's raining, it shouldn't, like, change my mood that much. You shouldn't allow it to change your mood so much, you know. Or you shouldn't escalate it, like, believe, oh, something else is going to happen. This isn't that. The fear that we build up in our minds, oftentimes, I'm pretty sure most of the time, actually, I'm pretty sure it's 100% of the time. 
when we build it up in our heads, it's a lot worse than it actually is in real life, you know? And that goes with anything, bro. Like, anything that has to do with fear, like, let's say you're scared to drive. Um, the fear you have of driving is a lot greater than the, the fear of actually driving, you know? Because once you start driving, you don't really think about the fear, you know? Or let's say you're scared to try something new or whatever. You're going to a new school, man. Like, the fear you build up of being new is a lot worse than the actual fact of you being new. You get what I'm saying? Like, it goes with anything, man. If you're scared to learn manual, you're only scared to learn manual because you built it up in your head. Manual is not going to hurt you, bro. It's not here to hurt you. It's here to be easy for you. you know, does that make sense? Does, does it make sense what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments down if it made sense what I said, man. I don't. I just try to spread the knowledge sometimes of what I learn, of what I feel, of what I notice going on. You know, so I just try to share it. Hopefully it helps out one of you guys. Hopefully one of you guys needs to hear that. Hopefully, you know. I'm just very hopeful, bro. I really hope for the best for us, for you, for me, for this world. I really hope for the best, man. I really hope the direction that we're on is good. And I know it's good because I have great people behind me, meaning you. I thank you so much for being here all the time. And they're doing some yard work over there, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. excited for the content man i hope you guys are too hope you guys are subscribed as well so you guys never miss out on the video i hope you guys didn't listen to me hype up the channel this much and then not subscribe that's gonna upset me but i know you guys are better than that so someone driving all slow with their squeaky car but anyways i'm gonna end the video here guys my dad's about to finish whoa my dad's about to finish up i'm gonna end the video here guys i hope you guys have an amazing blessed day and i'll catch you guys in the next video